Allison, we turn now to the loss of an American treasure. Maya Angelou died this morning at her home in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The woman known as a poet, dancer, teacher, and mentor is being remembered today for her words of hope and wisdom. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live from one of D.C.'s public charter schools named for Angelo. Uh, Sam, I understand you got a chance to talk with Cora Berry, who called Maya Angelo a friend. Oh, indeed. She was a friend of Cora Berry. A number of people in this area actually, Leon, she said that uh, Angelo said she had her D.C. family. But right now we are outside the uh, Maya Angelo Public Charter School uh, off East Capitol, Southeast D.C. And D.C. is remembering this Renaissance woman. Uh, she was uh, no stranger to our city. Any broad alarm of their hastening doom. Many first met her as the poet at former President Bill Clinton's inauguration in 1993, and then learned more about an amazing and not always happy life. One of America's great women of letters, yet raped at age seven years old by her mother's boyfriend, then mute until age 12, and as an adult who was a singer, dancer, Actress, activist who lived in Africa, befriended both Malcolm X and Martin Luther King and so many others. She did have a close tie to the city. She came to many of our great events and we did enjoy her a lot. She was at our wedding, my man Marion. He's, she made up, she, she did a point for us at our wedding. Cora Masters Berry, wife of former DC Mayor Marion Berry, does her own impersonations of her longtime friend. She was dramatic all of the time and she would say, sit, 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 sit. Don't bend for anyone. Please speak up. She has pictures, her and Oprah and Maya Angelou, or the Clinton White House with Angelou, Dr. Dorothy Height, and Hillary Clinton. Barry would take kids from her Southeast D.C. Tennis Center to Angelou's home. They would come to North Carolina, they would swim in her pool, ate her famous pound cake and iced tea, and they would sit around the kitchen and listen to her as she would talk with them. ABC 7 heard some of that advice when we visited Angelou at her home four years ago. When you get, give. When you learn, teach. There is, with those two dictates, you can live a life of honor, a respectful life, and a generous life. She lived to be 86 years old, and we will be back with more on Maya Angelou at 6 o'clock, including talking with students here at this school. It is a school for young people who, in many cases, have not done well in other schools, named for Maya Angelou. Reporting live from Southeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. Thank you for that, Sam. So Maya Angelou's writing, of course, received accolades, but she also left a legacy as an educator. She was a mentor to Oprah Winfrey, as you know, and Oprah issued this statement that reads in part, what stands out to me most about Maya Angelou is not what she has done or written or spoken. It is how she lived her life. She moved through the world with unshakable calm, confidence, and a fierce grace. I loved her and I know she she loved me. I will profoundly miss her and she will always be the rainbow in my clouds. Our coverage of Maya Angelou's legacy continues coming up at 530. The words of wisdom that she passed on in her last tweet. And then at six tonight, Sam will be back with reaction from those students, as he mentioned, at the D.C. Charter School named for the poet. Leon.